Hello to all my friends in the internet world. This is your friend Jay Silva, also known as Backward at Jay. And I want to take the opportunity in this video to answer a couple of questions that, you know, people who contacted me, some of them are previous students, some of them are people who have never trained with me. So I just want to take the main questions that are being asked so that way we can expedite the process so you guys can have, can have more clear information about a bed net here, right? Uh, previous students of mine who, who were trained, in making a single bet, okay, just uh, watching whether the game is predominance or whether the game is counter predominance, and be in observance of the triggers. All right. They asked me, uh, Jay, why do I need to make two bets? Okay, this is something that I mean, me personally, I know for quite some time. All right, I know for a while. The, it's you know, it's, it's not new. You know, gamblers have used that in uh, in the game of background binary systems. All right. And um, they, they try to use it as a counter option. Now, most people, they like to martingale with it. That's a company that, you know, it, it makes it non-working. Me, I designed a, uh, a negative progression alongside, you know, counter action with a, with a ladder, with a positive progression. So they can counter each other. That's a common bed net zero is based on equilibrium, it's based on balance. All right. So when uh, one of my one of one of the members of the team, one of my team players, presented me the idea, okay, last year, we starting um, looking into that. I mean, you know, how can we, how can, how beneficial or how negative can this thing be? And uh, basically, the most important aspect that it reflected on was profits. It generates more profits faster. So it, it allows our playing time to be shortened. The level of security also is extremely high. And I'm sorry to say this, but also based on the fact that nowadays, and I don't want to, you know, <laughs> my players ask me not to talk much about this. Okay. And what the casino is doing through the use of technology, through the use of softwares, basically it render our TI count, okay, our plus one minus one, inoperative why it wasn't it wasn't doing its job because you know we were facing micro behaviors or or, or what, what we like to call fractional games all right so if we put it all together in the blender and we we kind of created a cocktail that now we call bed net zero why because just by listening by listening to the winning side of the game what's happening where's you know where's the winning bets where are the winning results going? Just follow it. I mean, it was it was a stroke of genius, honestly. And um, you know, we just roll with it. I mean, it, it was it was so the results were so positive that we had we had no other option just to go and roll with it, because otherwise it will be kind of like you know stupid on, on our part. We 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 struck gold, especially now you know that we we're not playing background. We're playing that. That game that the casinos are, are, are giving us through the use of computers and softwares, right? So we, we, we found a way to counter it, all right? So that, that is one thing. The other question that previous students ask is like, how difficult it is? Sometimes, you know, you make mistakes. Sometimes I said, no, guys, this is important to understand. You see, when you're playing, whether you're playing uh, in the comfort of your home, in your kitchen, in your home office, in your own, I mean, I, I don't condone you playing at work if you have a job, right? Do it, do it in your free time at your house, in your, in your home office, all right? But um, you're not doing anything else. You're not making a video. You don't have to remember the questions, the answers. You don't have to remember the facts. You don't have to uh, keep, keep an eye on the controllers of, of Cantasia Studio that I used to create this thing, if you know what I mean. Uh, the other day I made a video and I forgot to turn my microphone on. And I made a video, you know, it took me about an hour to finish the whole video with process and everything. And it turned out that my microphone wasn't on. <laughs> so, um, no, no, no. It's not, uh, you know, it's not difficult at all. On the contrary, if you notice, this is important. I don't play combo one because most of my previous students at a level of uh, futures and up, background of futures and up, all right, can easily decipher, can easily crack it down. I mean, not not completely because you know we we have certain details like triggers, 
and the and the trilogies and uh, you know how to comply with the dragon tails and stuff like that and the X protocols obviously but you know you guys are gonna get most of the mechanics in this because it's simple it's it's pretty simple all right uh, okay uh, oof five minutes um, I'm gonna address one more question from non non students you know people who would never never uh, train with me you know they always ask me Jay uh, can you train me and if I see if it works I pay you I said no I wouldn't do that I mean guys literally have you gone to the casino and the moment that you lost all your money the moment that you went broke you can can you call the manager because you know I didn't know what I was doing so can I have my money back okay now hold on I'm using this sample okay just to guide your your way of thinking okay you're still playing the game and you don't know what what you're doing therefore most of the time when no, I just I don't want to be a criminal and said every single time you're losing your money you're getting wiped out your bank release disappear okay it's not it's not gonna happen here if you notice you just just do the math okay we keeping an emphasis on protection on your bankroll we don't ever want to lose our bankroll all right but check this out even better okay I'm playing the 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 game I'm playing the technique on the combo number two which is a little more I'm not gonna want to use the word complicated but it's a little more intrinsic okay you need a, a little higher knowledge to play combo number two or position number two all right but you can see the relevance between them too. They, they don't they don't trample each other. They don't, you know, you don't have to make crazy bets. It's not a martingale. No, no, no. I mean, most of the time you're gonna keep a balance, and one side will be winning, the other side will be losing. So you counter your actions. All right. So that's it. That that's all the the questions that I'm gonna address today. Is, uh, remember, um, we have a discount, student discount for any anyone who have trained with us. And I'm going to talk a little more about that, you know, after after I finish the, the video. Okay, so please watch the video and, uh, you know, I will see you guys very soon. Don't go nowhere. Thank you. Okay, here we go, guys. Please pay close attention. Like I said before, we only need 10 bets. I'm going to play 10 bets in, uh, in this, um, you know, mark your shoe. <laughs> Let's call it that. Uh, why? Because you don't need... You don't need a lot of bets. Normally, we when when you train on bet zero, you're gonna find out that we play in the two quadrants. We play in up to line number 30. We play in 30 bets out of a shoe. That's where we make our money. That's where we grind. That's where we sometimes get in trouble. Okay, but most likely none. You know, like <laughs> nine out of ten shoes, we're gonna make money. All right. One shoe, maybe we can grind to a zero or pull out at a rabbit negative. All right. So uh, anyway, I don't wanna. I don't wanna talk too much let me um, show you what you guys came to see Hold on one second I need five decisions okay so far we have the three times switch four chops Ooh. dragon tail on the chop so I gotta start the both positions on the player side I gotta go uh, dynamic based on player and the rough I'm using dynamic and the rough on the flippy side, but in this case, I'm doing two units on the player side. Oh, my bad. I need a. I need a banker eight came out. Oh, you know what? I didn't write down my scope on banker, player, banker, player, and a banker. Now banker eight. So loser for both. I am minus two. Now I gotta go. Uh, two units on dynamic and two units on the flip, which is a no bet. No bad. I still need the result. Ooh, my bad. Okay, banker three. Okay, so dynamic would have won. Uh, the route would have lost. I'm still minus two. So I gotta go back to base on predominance. I gotta go three units on the player. So I'm doing two on player overall. Okay. Here we go, guys. Banker six. Winner here, loser here. I am minus four. Four units here, guys. Okay, so I got my three X's on the on the wrap. So now I gotta go five units. Hold on one second. I gotta go out of five on predominance, and I gotta go. I gotta go nine units on the banker. Here we go, guys. Uh, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Oof, and a banker nine to be poetic. 
Back at night, I win, I win. I um, I was minus four plus five. Uh, pl uh, plus five. My bad. Allow me to show you. Uh, here we go. Five units minus commission. All right, guys. I have played four bets. One was a no uh, neutral bet, no bet, and I have placed uh, four money bets. I won only one, and I've lost twice, and I am five units up. Here we go. Let's continue. I have an official dragon tail, so I gotta go. I gotta close this micro game. I, I'm always forgetting to close the micro games, and now I gotta go two one banker because of the dragon tail base and base. All right, so here we go, guys. Player six, that dragon tail didn't go nowhere. How, why I'm not surprised. Minus two money count. Uh, I gotta go two units on uh, the banker and two units on player. All right. So is um, hold on one second. No bet. Still need the result though. Banker eight, awesome. Predominance is doing amazing, especially because of the dragon tail. All right, so this one would have been a winner. This one was a loser. Okay, I'm still minus two. Uh, I gotta go back to base on the banker. I gotta go three on player. So I'm doing two on player here, right? Here you go, guys. Nice. Player four. I have a loser here, winner here. I am at zero and I can close this micro game. Okay, micro game is closed. I got two micro games. I got a plus five and a zero on seven bets. Um, okay, I gotta go base on the banker. My game number three. Hold on one second. Dynamic and the Ralph on the flippy side. Base on banker, base on player. No bet. I still need the result. Player nine. Uh, so. Hold on. I would have lost dynamic. I would have won the Ralph. I'm still at zero in this micro game on bed number eight. I gotta go uh, two units on predominance. I gotta go five units on the flippy side on the Ralph. So it's three on banker. Here we go, guys. Nice. Man, that banker nine is kicking it. All right. Uh, loss on dynamic. I won on the Ralph and I am plus three. So overall, I should be plus seven why am i plus eight okay hold on i am plus eight units okay to my count uh, plus five and plus three is before i have a zero before all right anyway guys uh eight units here minus commission all right and uh guys i hate to do this but um you know my next bet is a no bet okay hold on my bet number 10 is a no bet. Banker 8. And we had the Tommy trigger there. Alright, so uh, dynamic laws. Alright, I let me just take the time. Okay, so overall I am plus 8 here in this. Um, allow me to show you how many hands did I play. Okay, remember we started on the 5 decisions, right? And we had 2 ties. Uh, we have 17 hands so far out of this shoe. Heavy predominance. This is, uh, guys, a, a lot of a lot of times, you know, people ask me, how do I know if a shoe is predominance? Look, keep keep an eye on the banker playing parity count. All right, you got 10 to 5, 10 bankers to 5 players and 17 bets with two tides. There's a heavy predominance on the on the banker side. That's a common, like, you know, uh, the predominance the, did so good. Now, check this out. Uh, out of the 17 hands, we burned 5 for the scope. So it's 12. With the two ties, it's 10. So out of those 10 bets that I told you I was going to play, you see, I had four neutral bets, and I literally played six money bets, and I got three winners and three losers, and I made eight units right here. This is the wonderful thing about BetNet Zero, guys. All right? That is it. That is it. This is... This is uh, the magic behind Bednet Zero. All right. So guys, remember if you if you want to take advantage, uh, somebody asked me how long I'm gonna carry in the the two thousand dollar discount for students for previous students. If you have purchased any program, I don't care if it's Backer or TKO, TKO Pro, Panacea, anything. Okay, you can take a two thousand dollar discount 
All right. Um, I don't know how long I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have that. Um, you know, thanks to all the people who have joined so far. Let me let me know if you want to talk. All right. Once again, I'm being super honest. I don't know how long we're going to carry it. We want to motivate students to come because, you know, we're still scouting people to, to be part of the the players team. All right. So without any further ado, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, you know, coming all the way up to this point. And uh, I will see you guys very soon or uh, in my next video. All right. Thank you. And bye-bye.